wow it has saved a lot of lives hi guys welcome to this channel if you are seeing this face for the first time please don't make it your last if you are returning subscribers thank you for always coming back my name is background on this channel we talk about motherhood we talk about social work christian lives a lot of things that you can think of at the top of your head right now talk about my lifestyle we talk about basically everything that you need to see on youtube so please like this video subscribe to this channel put on your notification bell and don't make it your last time make sure you watch videos and watch it to the end that's so important thank you so much with that being said in this video we'll be talking about reasons common reasons why people go for c-section we discovered that c-section delivery is so common right now why are so many people preferring to go for c-section rather than to deliver their baby with their vagina of course if you're a mother there's no way that you will not understand what c-section is but let me just explain it section is a surgical procedure of delivery number one common reason why people go for c-section is because of the baby presentation when you are at your 37 weeks of pregnancy you are your baby is expected to be head down which is cephalic presentation that is the normal position that your baby is expected to be but in so many cases we discover that these babies are either bridge or lying horizontally instead of being um, instead of lying cephalic and this could be so dangerous for the mother and also for the baby especially if it's your first pregnancy though there is another procedure of turning the baby even at 37 weeks or I think at 36 or 37 weeks or so or thereabouts. But this procedure is so dangerous because the success rate of this procedure is just 30 to 40 percent. And if you know your country very well, like you know that you don't want to risk your life, you don't want to risk the life of your baby, it's better you just go for the C-section. You will not die there because many people have done it and they did not die. You too will not die there. This procedure has led to the death of so many babies. And sometimes also, the baby will be so distressed that the doctor will have no other choice than to do C-section for the mother. So that in order to save the child's life as well as the mother's life. So it's better if you love your life and you love the life of your baby that you want to bring to the world. Go for C-section, save yourself the stress, and you see your baby, everything will be over. Another reason why people go for C-section is placenta obstruction. This has happened to so many people, which is the reason it's very important to do scan so that your doctor or your midwife will know your baby position as well as your placenta position. Your baby's placenta may, may sit in a in a way that it will obstruct your child from coming to the world like your baby will want to come to your vagina and the baby placenta will be drawing back the baby that come back here you are going over you get your doctor or your midwife no go great for the baby yeah this is why they take you to the theater in order for you to, to be saved and as well as your child through this c-section your baby's placenta will no longer have a say on your baby's life. So it's very, very important to accept with your doctor if you really love your life. Other reasons why people go through C-section is prolonged labor. The labor is not progressing. The baby is no longer coming. They may not even know why the baby is no longer coming. It may be due to the fact that mother pe pelvic, which is the passage, is very small for the baby. So the baby is finding it difficult to pass through it. You get all that the placenta, the baby placenta is obstructing the baby from coming to the world. Just like I said, that the placenta no one grieves. For the baby to come to the world and the baby won't come to the world and if care is not taken it may lead to the loss of the baby's life in order to prevent this c-section is advised to be done 
for such person. Just like I said, it is important to go for it before you go into labor, if you have your way, because you save yourself the stress. The C-section stress is another thing on its own. You save yourself another unnecessary stress. You have been advised to go for it. Why not go for it? Why are you stressing yourself? A lot of women has done it. And they come back alive. You too will come back alive. Another reason why people do this section is when they consider when the doctor consider the mother's health or either the mother or the baby's health. If the baby's heartbeat is not good as it's expected to be, or the mother's health is not too good. Maybe the mother is having IBP or low sugar or something a lot of things it may be due to diabetes the mother may be having a chronic health condition that may not make it easy for her to go through c-section let me say for instance if the mother is is sickle cell such person may not be advised to go through the stretch of vagina delivery or the mother is having a chronic infection like hiv like it could be anything it could be any health challenges strong like i mean chronic health challenges so such mother will be advised to go through c-section or the baby is having a low heartbeat or a very high heartbeat or the the, the, the doctor discovered that the baby needs to be taken out with an immediate effect if you really love the baby and you really want to see your baby alive a lot of things that may happen to the baby it may be that the water has been broken and this is the water this is where the baby live in it's just like fish that they live in, that lives in the water so if the water is no longer there and it's taking longer than expected you'll be advised to go for c-section so many reasons so many reasons that i will not be mentioning yeah, but whatever your doctor says, please, please adhere to it and go for it. You will not die. Yeah, another reason why people go for C-section, this is very severe. So it's because, eh, come here. Kada here, let me tell you. It's because, eh, they don't want that place to be too, like, they still want to enjoy sex. Of course, after giving birth to your child your vagina will be expanded this may make sex unenjoyable for your husband but there are some husbands that understand and and have accepted that it is my wife and it's not because of this thing alone that i married ah they don't even look at that many women that knows their husband they prefer to go for sex section because they still want their husband to enjoy them in bed yeah and they also want to enjoy it they don't want that place like i mean that place like yeah to be too wide because of course it will be it will be wider than not than the regular size after giving birth and that's just the price we have to pay for having a baby but if you don't want to pay that price there's another way of going about it you go through c-section yeah and you have your baby in peace and you enjoy your sex in peace you enjoy your home in peace you enjoy your husband in peace I have so many celebrities that go for it because of this one reason and at the same time some people believe that it's not stressful before you know it you already see your baby but let me not deceive you it comes with its own pains too yeah i will tell you the truth of course you know i will always tell you the truth on this channel it also comes with its own pains what do you have to put in place what do you have to do before you go to that theater? You speak to your doctor about it. You book an appointment. Depending on the doctor, actually, I don't know if there's any other way to go about it. But the most common way, or the one that I know about, is that if you are scheduled to do C-section the following day, they will ask you not to eat anything from 12 a.m. the day that proceeds the day of your C-section. So that I don't know why, but that's how they advise people not to eat anything. On that day, you also be called upon to shave your private part for you. And after shaving the private part, you they will pass catheter inside it. 
because if you want to urinate, you'll be urinating inside that catheter. Catheter will be passed inside of you. And after which, you can be taken to the theater if you are ready. After being taken to the theater, boom, you have seen your baby. Now, of course, when you, get to, when you get inside the theater, they will give you injection. Injection that will deaden your legs, your stomach that will be caught. And the doctor will proceed with his work by cutting you and removing the baby. The doctor will stitch back where he caught and the baby will be taken for cleaning and all of that. Your baby will come back to you. They will, take, they will bring the baby back to you because you are the first love to your baby. You'll be the first person to see your baby, not your husband. Yeah, that's it. You will see your baby, you will pray for your baby, and you and your baby will be well out to the world where you will be well taken care of. That is all about it. If you want to know more about it that you think that I did not talk about in this video, you can ask questions, and I'll be so glad to answer you the question. And if there is any, if you have gone through it and you think there is something that I omitted I did not talk about, please talk about it comment it below and let's talk about it together so before my next video i would like you to comment below like this video share this video subscribe to this channel and i will see you again in my next video bye bye